You're watching Wish TV, your local news source. Now, News 8 at 5 continues. Welcome back. Now at 5.30, the season's first major hurricane in the Atlantic strengthened to a Category 4 and is taking aim at Bermuda. Hurricane Fiona is packing winds over 100 miles per hour, and the powerful storm has already ravaged parts of the Caribbean, Puerto Rico, leaving thousands without power and water. Jen Sullivan reports. Hurricane Fiona, now being described as a monster Category 4 hurricane, with sustained winds of around 130 miles per hour heading toward Bermuda, the island under a hurricane warning. At least five people have been killed from Fiona's wrath. The powerful storm decimating Puerto Rico and parts of the Caribbean earlier this week, dumping inches, even feet of rain in some areas and triggering mudslides. Many towns in the Dominican Republic are underwater. We are left with nothing, in ruins, nowhere to sleep, nowhere to sit. This is something incredible that we've never seen before. In Puerto Rico, thousands are still without power and running water. The Federal Emergency Management Agency has been assessing the damages since Tuesday. Power and water, that's our number one priority. It's going to take a while to understand truly the extent of the damage for repair. Thursday, President Joe Biden speaking with FEMA officials and the governor of Puerto Rico to discuss ways to help, including federal funding. I'm here to help. We really are. Hundreds of FEMA and federal personnel are now there, including search and rescue teams, bilingual disaster survivor assistance teams, and the U.S. Corps uh, power restoration experts. I'm Jen Sullivan reporting. Well, there's a mass rush to try to get support to the communities impacted the hardest. And an Indiana-based nonprofit is stepping up its efforts, telling News 8's multicultural reporter Katira Winfrey how they're using relationships built over the last five years to quickly get food and supplies to those in need. Hurricane Fiona is wreaking havoc on the region nearly five years to the day after Maria touched down on the island. Puerto Rico Rise Up is an Indiana-based not-for-profit, and they say in addition to the devastation left by Hurricane Fiona, many are still picking up after Maria. The devastation on the ground in Puerto Rico is an all-too-familiar sight for Madeline Muniz Aquino and James Perez. They are two of Puerto Rico Rise Up's volunteers who live on the island. Well, I uh, went there um, two and a half weeks after Hurricane Maria made landfall. Dr. Sarah Diaz, a native of Puerto Rico, lives in Indiana and formed the organization in 2017 and is thankful for the volunteers who provide much needed support to families coping with the massive loss. Most don't have power, water, and little to no internet access. And a lot of folks are still getting by. Through Diaz's interpretation, Muniz Aquino and Perez say they've suffered through the worst of the hurricane. Right alongside the people, they are helping. Perez had to rescue his pregnant daughter after her roof blew off. The devastation has been quite different. The flooding, a lot of people have lost their roof. Um, but at the same time, even with the, um, with the disaster, uh, it feels somewhat Hopeful. The island has gone through some tough times in the last five years, and representatives say money helps get resources to people on the ground faster and helps better fund the local economy. It's been very tough. It's been um, hard because, um, of course, you relive the experience. Many people are still without power due to damage from Maria. Combine that with a series of earthquakes. Diaz says the extra structure instability and excessive water is bringing down homes and buildings. Different than Maria in some regards, but actually worse than Maria in other regards. Puerto Rico Rise Up representatives say because of the long-term devastation on the island, it's had broad mental health impacts. Reporting in Indianapolis, Kachira Winfrey, WishTV, WishTV.com, and follow us on Facebook.